Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Tonight we're going to be talking about how to set variables from one AI to another so we can share information. Uh, if you remember, the AI is the scripting that's attached to an object. You can think of it as a class that represents behaviors or abilities of a certain object or something within the game. So it's important that they can pass information back and forth. So in the, the video I did just before this, we loaded some settings in through XML into the main AI, which is the, the scripting that controls the game. Now we want to figure out how to get it into some AI that we're going to attach to the ball. So let's jump right in. Um, I've got the project open. I'll double click on the game to bring it up. I'll open up my scene. We still have the ball here, just like we uh, did before if we hit play. Uh, my computer crashed before, so let me just see. Yep, so let me go in and clean out the, some of the stuff that was there um, before. Yep, so let's clean all this out and start from scratch. My computer's getting to the point now where it can't handle the load of doing all these videos. So let's jump back over here. Let it play. Okay, everything's good now. So. Look at that. All right, so that's why I like to always check, is to make sure that we're not going into our environment with anything that we weren't expecting. So the first thing we're going to want to do is if we're going to have some AI that talks to the, or that's going to control the ball, let's go ahead and create it. So AI model, um, let's go to create. We'll call this ball AI. Hit OK. And we're setting the impulse value, which is the force that will be applied to the ball when we click the button. So let's go ahead and add that now. Uh, so that's ready. And impulse, and for number. So we'll set that to a number. The initial value is zero, so we'll hit OK. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to add some control here. So um, I want it to react to when we click down on the mouse. So I'm going to add a handler here. So on mouse button down, it's going to re react to that event. So we have that here within this code. And all it's going to do is when the mouse button is pressed down, we're going to add a dynamic force to our object. So we're going to use the dynamic class. Uh, I think it's dynamic. There we go. Dynamics. And it is a linear impulse that we want to add. So add linear impulse. And you notice that we need an object. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a handler for on in it. This is what I use to initialize the AI. Um, it runs the first time that the AI, AI starts. And what I like to do is I like to have a handle to the object that this AI represents. Uh, it comes in handy a lot of, um, of the scripts. So we're going to call this hball for handle for ball. It's a type of object. Click OK. And then in the on in it, I'm just going to simply say, um, Uh, actually, we'll do uh, hball. No, this. This hball, if you put something in the parentheses here, um, it assigns the value to that. So we want it to be this dot get object. So that just takes whatever object that the AI is assigned to, um, and we're going to put it into that handle. So now let's close this because we are done with that. Okay, so we're going to add a linear impulse. We're going to do it to this uh, H ball and K okay, X Y and Z. So this is um, basically we're describing a vector for the the force that we're going to add. We're not going anywhere in the zero in the X direction. We're not going to go in the Y direction. Look, let's go in the Z direction. We're going to go in negative since we're going into the screen, and we're going to go in by this dot n impulse so we're pulling out the variable over here for the ai and then the space this is the uh, coordinate space that we're going to use and for this i will go into more detail about this later but for this we're going to do the global space we'll save that hit f7 to compile okay so that's that's what we need so our ball ai looks like it's pretty complete now let's get the value over to the ball ai so we're going to do that in our parse function. So in order to do that, we are going to, uh, like I said before, I, th I think that I like to code backwards. So what we eventually want this this to do is we're going to send the value over to the um, to the ball AI. So 
Um, since it's an object we're sending to you, we'll start with the object class. And we're going to set AI variable. It's asking for an object. So the object is going to be that ball. So let's, um, let's create a local variable that's called hball. And the easiest way to grab something is by grabbing it by the name of the object within the scene. So application tagged get current user scene tagged object. We're going to get the object called ball. Um, so in order to do that, what we need to do is jump back over to our scene, click on the ball, right click on it and edit selection tab. This is the name of the object, so we're going to call it ball. And if you can see it really closely, well, you can't really see it but usually there's a name on the actual ball itself that'll tell you that it's called ball. All right, so we have the ball. So let's put that each ball. We need a string to represent the AI model. So the AI model for this ball is called ball AI. We need a string to represent the variable. So we called that within the ball AI, we called it in impulse. Ugh. Come on. All right, and then the value. So the value that we're going to use is, um, well, we haven't defined it yet, so let's do that. Let's back up a little bit more. Local and impulse. We're gonna get that from our XML. So XML, um, we want a value. So we want the get element value. And so we'll come back and define that later, but what we need to do is here, we'll just say that we're gonna use the end impulse as the value. Okay, so that part is done. So let's go back up here to the get element value. So it wants an XML element. So we need to define which XML element we're gonna grab. So local, um, we'll do this X element. We're going to grab, again, we have to use XML, get element. Um, the one that I like to use for this is first child with name, so I can actually use the name. Oops, control Z to undo. And the name of this in our XML was ball impulse, is the setting that we're trying to pull out. Um, but we have to notice that there's also another handle that's needed for an XML element. So let's back up and grab our root element from the XML. So X root equals XML, get root. And so the root of all our XML is this uh, local or this variable that we set in the AI, which is hconfig. So this dot hconfig. All right, so that gets us our root element. We'll plug the root element into here. And Here's the value that we're pulling out. So that becomes this element that we want to get the value of. So now we're gonna plug that into here. Okay, hit Control S and then compile. Okay, so we're grabbing the root and then we're finding the element with the name ball impulse under that. And then we're taking that element and getting its value and putting it into an impulse. And then we are grabbing the ball. And then finally we're setting the AI variable of the ball the n impulse variable with that uh, value that we pulled out of the XML. So let's save that, hit F7 to compile. So that should be good. Now the one thing that we need to add still is in Shiva, the main AI is, is, uh, handles all the events. And so we have created an event handler on the ball AI to react to the mouse down, uh, the mouse button down, but it's never gonna get that because the main is going to absorb that. So what we need to do is really quick, we're gonna add a handler in the main AI for on mouse button down. And all we are going to do is we are going to call object, uh, come on, send event. So you notice up here it's asking for the handle to the object, the AI model and the event name. So let's go back one more and I probably should put this as a, a variable on the AI just because I have to refer to it so often, but let's call this hball application. And it's that tag thing again. And we're gonna grab the one with the ball tag. So that's hball here. Okay, the AI model name is ball AI. 
event name is on mouse button down. And then you'll notice there's dot, dot, dot. That's for all this stuff. So what I do is I just copy and paste it. So it passes through um, all the values that would normally go to that event. Okay, so we'll hit Control S to save, F7 to compile. Now the last thing we need to do is, there you can see that little ball name is showing up there in the on the ball. Last thing we need to do is assign the ball AI to the ball. So as long as the ball is highlighted, we can drag and drop the ball AI up there. Now if we try to run the scene, it's going to ask us to save it. We'll hit save. Now if we click the button, hopefully it's going to add this force to the ball. And boom, there it goes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We went through the basics of how to send some information from one AI to another. We also handled some basic um, event handling. Um, just really, really basic stuff. We're just going to keep going in baby steps till we build up to a, a full and complete game. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's going to be some more information on my blog at subspacegames.com. Please leave some comments on my videos. Let me know how I'm doing and if there's something you'd like me to do different or something that you'd like to see covered. Um, and we'll try to incorporate it into the game so that we can do a, a segment on it. But uh, anyways, enjoy the time tonight and uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks.